has arrived and yes i'm late to the party but i was partying at card party so that's why i couldn't open any for you but i am back in the studio and today we're gonna see what we can pull from the brand new pokemon set here it is now i actually got this booster box while i was in the us and i didn't get a chance to open it there so i am opening it here for you so scarlet and violet 2 powder are evolved has landed we've got the iono in this set we've got so many nice art rares as well so i'm really looking forward to seeing what we can pull so let's pop the booster box next to me and let's get straight into it now let me know in the comments down below are you guys putting together a master set I don't know if I am. I feel like I kind of want to because I'm going to be honest with you, starting off with a Weevil Hollow now, guys. Do remember, before I carry on with what I was about to say, that with Scarlet and Violet, we get hollows in every single pack. Here we go, pack number two. We're going to open the whole booster box today as well, people. So get ready. There's going to be some hits in here. I started putting together the Scarlet and Violet master set of Scarlet and Violet base and I kind of changed my mind. I've kind of gone off of it a little bit. However, Powder Day Revolve looks like it's got some really, really good cards in. So I think I might try and master set it. But yeah, it looks fun. And I've got a special binder that I could actually use to master set it. I'll show you what that is in a minute. Anyway, let's see if we can get our first hit out of the set. I've zoomed in a little bit because I think I was a little bit too far away. Gyarados Hollow, some really nice cards in there. So no pack trick like we used to know either with Sword and Shield. It's all changed, people. We got Silver Borders. The card sequence has changed. We got two reverses and a hollow in every single pack. We've got EX cards on the comeback. There's so much going on with this set. But I have opened a few packs now fun fact the very first pack of paldea revolve that i opened was during a guinness world record at card party which is just insane to think that i took part in a guinness world record and we actually managed it hold on butler's arrived talking about that binder here is my brand new vault x paldea revolve binder and look at the colors on that how insane does that look it even says first edition down there and we've got sv2 right there for scarlet and violet 2 and guys you can actually use code pokey chloe on the vault x website to get 10 percent off your order and how insane is this card party binder that we got from card party look at the colors it looks incredible you can see i haven't even used it yet but there it is card party what an event it was right back to the packs people here we go so card party was a blast we had a great time like that's why i actually opened my first powder packs and yes it was the very first one during a guinness world record which was absolutely crazy so um, keep your eyes peeled because that content probably isn't on the channel yet so you will see that very very soon but yes card party was great shout out to deep pocket monster for having us over as creators honestly i met so many people people that i've met before people that i haven't met before and it was amazing got to meet so many of you guys as well if you were at card party and you're watching this video right now let me know down in the comments oh and we get the belly bot ex card talking about card party giving us the luck right there and if you were at card party what was your favorite part i mean there was so much going on you could meet your favorite youtuber you could do a trick shot challenge you could do arts and crafts you could play the tcg you could go and visit the vendors it was never ending but we all had a really great time so can't wait for car party next year because we all know it's coming. We all know it's coming. Right, let's keep going with Powder Evolve. So I've had some nice pulls so far from Powder, but I'd like to really step it up and possibly get the Iono. Now the Iono, everyone knows, is a big, big chase card from the set. It's the alternate art Iono because there is also just the full art trainer version, which can catch you off guard when you pull it and think, oh, oh no, maybe not. Okay, so let's see what we can get. So far, I've only had one EX hit. So EX cards have made a comeback. We actually found out about that last year during the Pokemon, this pack, what's in here? Why did it try and run away from me? why it tried to run away from me we get the chien pow ex oh my goodness back to what i was saying we actually found out about ex cards during the world championships last year in london they gave us a little sneak peek that they would be coming back oh we get 
a double whammer. I have missed saying that. We get the Dunsparce and the Full Art Neuvern EX as well. Nice. I just, I'm not able to finish my sentence here because the hits are flowing. But yeah, we found out that EX cards were making a comeback and here they are in front of us right now, which is pretty cool to see. So make sure you use up all the code cards on this one, guys. I'm giving them all to you during this video. We're opening up an entire box of Powdera Vault. And like I said, I know I'm late to the party, but I was having a party at Card Party. So I'm going to use that line more often, I think. Anyway, let's keep going. I might master, should I master? I think I might master set out. I think I'm going to give up on Scarlet and Violet base, and I think I'm going to go all in with Powder Evolve. But there is also something else to think about because we have some crazy, crazy sets coming this year. We have Obsidian Flame coming, I believe not too long away. And then we... There's something in this pack. Hold that thought. Oh, we get the Paldean Clodsire EX. Very interesting card right there. We also have Pokemon 151 coming as well. Now, if you didn't know, Pokemon 151 are based on the original 151. Obviously, it says it in the title. Guys, it looks like it's going to be a crazy set. It's just dropped in Japanese. And obviously, we always have to wait to get the English set. But... It looks so good. I'm even going to open up some of the Japanese 151 on the channel, which you know I don't normally do. But when the set is that good, we cannot miss out. Right. Come on. Oh, that Pikachu's super cute. I love that. Are we going to get another hit right here? And boom. Right. We are about halfway through the box so far. We've had two EXs. We've had a um, full art. No, we haven't. We've had a Dunsparce art rare. And we have also had the Chien Pao. Um, SAR, I think. Now, all the rarities have changed since Scarlet and Violet. You have the little gold stars at the bottom, which we didn't have before. So it's all a uh, it's all a learning curve. Tinkerton. I'm finding this a really interesting name for a Pokemon. I think there's Tinker Tough and Tinkerton. How cute. And the cards are pink as well, which is even better. Right. Powder Evolved. Give us a good. So like I was saying, there's so much coming this year. It's going to be hard to know. Sudorudo. First time I'm pulling that and seeing that card. That looks like a nice street to live on there's going to be so much going on this year and i know there's always a lot of pressure with you want to open every set and keep up with everyone but i very much think it's going to be a case this year you're going to have to pick and choose unless you're just going to go absolutely wild which i mean if you are you do you um with what you're going to open what you're going to buy what you're going to master set thinking about it i might hold off on powder because i know i'm going to want to master set 151 i mean it just looks insane the sun rising mew which in english i believe is going to be a promo which i'm a little bit bummed about but again still going to open the japanese 151 and have a good time and as always there's lots of charizards coming we've got charizard coming in obsidian flames as well which is the next main set from scarlet and violet 151 will be the first holiday set from Scarlet and Violet. And don't forget where we left off with holiday sets at the end of Sword and Shield. I know you said Scarlet and Violet there. Oh, we get the Powder and Whooper. I have pulled this one before. Followed by the Meow Scarada EX. Like I was saying, where we left off with Sword and Shield, we had Crown Zenith, which was just, I mean, it was literally too good to be true. I had such a good time with that set and I still haven't completed it. So watch this space. Anyway, um, they, I think they're, they're going all in for the first set of Scarlet and Violet. We're going in with a bang. We're going in with 151. And what we've seen from the Japanese 151 is incredible. The only thing I would say, it's a little bit sad that we have to wait so long for the English. But I mean, this is almost worth waiting for. So let me know down in the comments. What are you master setting? Are you holding out for 151? Are you holding out for Obsidian Flames? Because we know there's going to be a Charizard in Obsidian Flames too. And it looks sick. Okay, what we're going to get... Jigglypuff reverse, so cute right there. Or are you going to try a little bit of everything and then decide what you want to master set? Because I feel like sometimes until you open it and get a feel for it, you don't always know. Seeing the cards in person is very different to seeing them online. Right, is a big hit incoming. That's what I want to know. We get the full art Faulkner trainer. And oh my goodness, what in the centering is going on there. The one thing I do like though, is we are still getting lots of hits from the booster boxes, which is nice. Obviously, towards the end of the Sword and Shield era, there were some boxes we were getting 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 20 hits, which was crazy. So we have had a nice amount of hits today. We should have some more hiding in here still. I would like to pull the Iono. I would like to see it in person. Haven't even seen it in Japanese. I didn't actually, I'm gonna tell a lie. I did see it at card party, but I saw it on the 
big screen when other people pulled it during the Guinness World Record. I think in the room there was well over a thousand of us and I think three or four people called it. Called it? Called it. Same thing. Which is pretty incredible. Oh, very nice. We get the boss's orders. What a beautiful card that is. So I did have a cheeky little count of the hits that we've had so far. Nine EXs, full arts, art rares, whatever you want to call them. So I think there's a few more hiding in here somewhere. Um, let's see if that I know is going to make an appearance. But yeah, would love to pull that. And if I don't pull it for myself in one of these videos, let's pull it for one of you guys on stream. How about that? I will make that promise now. I said promise lightly. Oh, I think we've got something here. We get the GM Pow EX and we did get the Iono Reverse. Just not the one we're looking for. And do remember guys, if you haven't already, smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and got the notification bell on so you don't miss anything. Are we going to get some last pack magic? Orthworm. I'll see you again next time.